Shalom and thank you again for coming along with me on this journey to Sabbath prepping. I am going to do what most people wouldn't do. I'm going to show you my home at its absolute worst. I'm in the very beginning phase of Sabbath prepping. So for me, often to clean really well, it takes messing up. I pull out dishes, pull out laundry, separate it, take covers off the bed that's on the floor, this can be put on. But in a camper, when you pull everything out, it looks like complete chaos. There's something on the couch, on the bed, on the table, in the sink, because we only have this much space. Literally 28 feet worth of full RV, not even 28 feet length of living space. Four feet of that is the bathroom. So, y'all ready? Let's see. So, you can see covers off the bed, sheets just washed. I have some already pre-washed. I'm gonna put those on, change pillowcases, change bedding completely. I have multiple comforters just to make it easier. Dishes on the sink. I ate. Laundry needs to be folded and put away. Extra comforter go on the bed. Floors got to be clean, laundry that was washed, trash cans taken out, new trash bag going in. Got to organize the fridge, got to organize the bunks again, my wraps, etc. So, it's something to be done in every little section of the camper, but that's how it is when you live in a small space. Every little space can get disorganized really, really easily. So, Sabbath prepping, this is why I start early. So the funny thing about a camper guys as much as cleaning you do until you're done it don't like you did anything but so far I've completed one basket of laundry folding I've put away and organized a lot of stuff up under the bottom bunk again stuff you can't see my dishes were washed already I have done multiple loads of laundry to clean and yet my table still looks like this I have a whole new thing of trash and I still have to pit the clean sheets on the bed. And that is why I prep for days. It is now hours and it is officially after midnight. My Lord is working late so I stay up late and get things done and so I can chill with him in the day hours where he's free. There's this notion that living in the RV is easier, faster, all that to clean. I've been working on this at least since 7 p.m. Once again, it's well past midnight, probably after 1. But, and I'm doing a piece by piece organizing my bunks. It takes taking out things once again, putting it back properly. I've done my bathroom. Just like with any other bathroom, you have to organize things, clean things down, mirror counter toilet bathtub etc and when you're in a small space everything is like a rubik's cube almost so it's very particular how you do it i still have a whole half a camper to go don't believe the hype a rv is still a home and it still takes deep cleaning and organization and time I am a little bit overdue for this, but I am taking everything out of my cabinets to wipe them down and put everything back in. Start to get a little bit of bit of cluttered as I accumulated more stuff. The longer you be here, of course, and also it's the seasonings up here and they kind of spill. Sometimes we take them out and put them back. And being in a camper, the last thing you want is bug infestation, whether it's an ant or whatever. So to keep that down or completely away. You just have to be clean, period. We have a pet. Pets attract bugs, food attract bugs, water attract bugs. I don't do bugs. Explain. Shalom, I am back 
back at it with day two of prepping. I started earlier this week on maybe Tuesday or so. And I did all my major cleaning, washing dishes, organizing the fridge, putting things back in the bunk, um, washing clothes. So it's now Thursday and I'm going to do the bit of tidying up for the end of the week. We've been living here, obviously, so I got to um, tidy up behind that. And yeah, I'll take you along for this part of it. Shalom, it's Friday. We're leaving the house. House is clean as I've been working on all week. So now it's time to handle all the rest of the pre-Sabbath business. Oh, goodness. Can you put all that in trunk? I'll put the trash back there. I'll do it after the bank. Okay. Um, so yeah, bank stops, grocery stop, get your Sabbath food, all that part of Sabbath. Okay. So that's why. That's why. So I am finally doing my Sabbath shopping. I've made my stops for the day, bank stop, um, handled my last, 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 last piece of business regarding the house that we used to stay in. Mm, other stops, took my Lord to camp to, you know, bring out that gospel. And this is my last stop of the day from here. You know, it'll be, it's almost evening. I'll be going to probably spend the rest of my Sabbath evening slash Sabbath night with brothers and sisters. But before the sun goes down and the Sabbath officially starts, let's get this shopping in. I'm at Your Decaf's Farmer's Market where recording is actually asked not to do. So I'll keep it minimal, but I will show you what I get. Number one done, and I have one more stop for Publix to get our subs, and that's why I prefer to buy my wine. They have a great wine selection here, but just so happened not the one I'm looking for. At least I haven't found it. I have to ask a lot of the times. They're on high shelves, but I got my best fruit from here: seeded watermelon, seeded grapes, which seems to be impossible to find in the grocery store. A chickpea salad, kind of like a chicken salad, except that it's curry and chickpea. And these really great bean chips that I'll show you all. You see that? Sun's not high, but it's not quite down. But the Sabbath is nigh, and I'm glad about it. All righty then. If you're wondering, I don't always buy our Sabbath food, but this week, if you can't tell, we're not home nor near home. We're in Atlanta as opposed to Alabama. So no time or place for cooking for me. Plus we're doing a no meat month. So I'm getting the chance to revisit all my favorite vegetarian options that are out and about here in the big A. So that's what we'll be eating for this Sabbath. 